Hello everyone, my name is Sankat Joshi and I'm an analyst in Vertana's Customer Success Organization. Today, I will be showing on how to use entity tags and property values to create report filters and alarm units. So let's get started. We briefly discussed the purpose of this video, but what are virtual wisdom entities? So virtual wisdom entities are the components which gets directly discovered from integrations. So for instance, switch integration discovers components like a switch ports, HBA ports, storage ports. These are the child components which discovers from switch integration. Similarly, ESX VMs, ESX host, ESX clusters, ESX data stores, these components gets discovered from vSphere integration. So every integration will discover a specific set of components associated with that integration. So for demo purposes, we will be creating a blank report from scratch, and we will be adding filters uh, via entity tags or all the property values associated with that entity. After reviewing the report, we will also create an alarm rule specifically for CPU utilization, and we will be filtering uh, filtering that particular alarm rule by ESX VMs and OS types used for that particular VM. So let's start with the demo. So I just logged into the test system, and I'll be using this system for the demo. So upon login, it will take you to a landing page, which is set up for your user profile. And you can view that by going to preferences on the bottom left, and it will tell you which is the active tab on logon. In my case, it is topology, and you can always edit that if you want to. So here, uh, we are interested in looking at inventory. So since this is a test system, we have a lot of integrations configured. That is the reason we see this inventory little piece here. But as I mentioned earlier, every integration will have its inventory components, entity components. And for the demo purposes, we will be specifically looking at switch ports. So once I go to the switch ports, you will see these, there are total 419 switch ports, which are part of uh, Cisco and Brocade switches, which are configured on this test system. And here, if you see, there are only four columns at the moment. WW and FCID tags and when they are created on. So on the top right, there is an option for, uh, there is a hamburger icon and you can go to columns here. We see there are a lot of uh, property values associated to these switch ports. So these columns are nothing but the property values. So what I'll go ahead and do, I'll enable a bunch of properties for these switch ports. So that's a little port type, port speed, send switch, Attached ports, uh, attached RSM ports, logical fabric. I think that's good enough. So now these are nothing but the property values. So there are 419 switch ports. And here, if you see these ports have, it has combination of switch ports running at zero gig. And I believe there are a bunch of them running 16 gig, 8 gig, and I think there are few running at 4 gig as well. Uh, so let me duplicate this tab. Copy. So the first thing we will do is create an inventory chart to see how many ports are running at 0 gig, how many ports are running at 4 gig, how many at 8, and how many at 16 gig. So as I mentioned earlier, these are all property values. Once we have the inventory table chart, then what we'll do, we will also go ahead and create a report based on these uh, ports. So I am here, let's go here and let's create a new report. New report and let's add a chart. So first we'll create an inventory file chart. So uh, application, let's switch port. And here we will group by ports. Since that is what we want to see, how many ports are running at zero gig, and those are port speed values. So, 
uh, let me change that. Else, so now if you see there are 419 switch ports and out of 419 majority of them are running at zero gig there are 85 switch ports running at 8 gig 79 at 16 gig four ports at 4 gig and there are three running at 10 gig so now what we will do uh we will create a report let me add another chart here and we will filter by uh, a particular port speed so let's create a utilization chart uh top and trend search for switch port and let's search for let's see that transmit utilization and here we are filtering it by switch ports in this list with property as i mentioned earlier those four gig eight gig those are all property values with property and here we did select port speed in this case let's look at what is the utilization on switch ports which are running at 8k okay and we will see these are the top 10 switch ports running at 8 gig and here if you see there are 85 switch ports in total running at 8 gig and these are the top 10 switch ports out of those 85 and, and this is for last two hours duration and if you see since this is a test system there is not much going on from the utilization perspective so this is just for the demo we wanted to see how it looks like and how we can filter report uh how we can filter a report chart by the board screens so now yeah, so now uh, let's do how we can use tags as report filters so here if you see port type port speed sand switch logical fabric all these are property values which are discovered directly from the integration but here the tags column which you see this is user defined and we can add any any tags associated to a particular entity type manually so uh, since this is a test system i don't have any tags added so let me quickly add a bunch of tags to a storage port and then what we will do we will go ahead and create a report out of those tags so uh, let me go to that and let me now we are here in the storage port uh and uh entity view so let's tag these first two of four storage ports more bulk edit and here we will add text to these four storage ports so let's consider these four storage ports are used by an application app a that may have okay so now we have added a manual tag to these four storage ports and we will create a utilization report uh, and we'll filter it by these app so let's go to the same report which we were looking at earlier and a chart here at the top and top and trend we will search for storage for consume bandwidth and let's filter storage ports based on the tag so here if you see we have uh, filtered it by the tag we have we will be filtering it by the tag and we just added an FA to the tag of storage ports. so now let's hit okay so now here we are looking at utilization on these four storage ports used by apple so that is one of the use case the another use case can be uh uh you can tag a bunch of switch ports in the environment which are part of a particular use case too. currently i don't have any apis configured for cisco integration so that is the reason i will not be able to uh, look at that but the truth way would be you can tag switch ports by a particular UCS domain, and then you can look at utilization on switch ports and filter it by that particular UCS domain. So that way, uh, utilization for all the storage, uh, all the switch ports which are part of that UCS domain will show up in the report. 
So that is one another use case. And these taggings are really powerful. You can look at uh, utilization, performance, health related stats, filtering by those tags, those manual tags. Currently, we looked at how you can you how you can add a tag into a storage port and filter a report by that particular tag. Now let's discuss how we can use the filtering methods which we discuss for creating alarm rules. So, for example, we will be creating an alarm rule uh, for CPU utilization on ESX VMs. So let's go to ESX VM entity first. And as as we discussed earlier, these there are seven hundred and eight ESX VMs just uh, discovered on this appliance. And let me also enable a column for the OS version. So VM config OS version. So here you can see all the uh, these VMs are uh, are running on combination. You can see a bunch of them running on Swiss Linux. Few on Microsoft Windows, there are several OS versions showing up in this list. And we will be creating an alarm rule only for Microsoft Windows related VMs. So now let's go to open case, uh, case and alarm rules landing page and let's go to rules. And here we will create a new rule for CPU utilization. So usually I always create a uh, alarm rule name which makes sense <clears throat> so this would be the test alarm rule uh, we are creating it on esx vm so that is the component it is cpu utilization and we will be using threshold values of 90 percent for one hour and since this is created by virtual wisdom i have named it as virtual wisdom so alarm on all, let me change this to ESXVM. And here we will be filtering it by filter ESXVMs with property and where we will be filtering it by the OS version. VM config OS version. And we, and we saw there are many OS versions here. This has the detailed list. So we will be selecting all the Microsoft Windows, including the Microsoft Server. So this is really good if you want to send out all the email notifications or all the <coughs> alarm alerts only to uh, Windows engineering team. We can do something similar for all the Linux related VMs as well, and that can be sent out to Linux engineering team also. So uh, these are all the Windows OS related VMs and 90% uh, we changed the window to one hour. Severity, let's consider it as critical notification. You can add Windows engineering teams email address as well. And if you guys are using SNMP in your environment, you can enable SNMP rule as that will go directly to the SNMP receiver. From there, it will go to the ticketing to whichever you guys use the your infrastructure. Let me hit save. So now this rule has been created and we are specifically created for all the Windows related VMs. I mean, then we can do something similar for all the other components as well. I mean, this is just an example how we can use, uh, how we can use filters for creating alarm rules, alarm rules as well. So thanks for watching the video.